All right, guys. So welcome back to some more anime dimensions. Now, pretty much, uh, I guess I've been grinding. This is my second day playing the game. And I decided, you know what? A lot of people were telling me that Rimuru is such a good character. And I've been grinding. Like you guys can tell, level 44. Uh, I do have a little bit of legendary cards. I know some of you have like a lot more. Because there's like some people out here like level 50 and stuff. Yeah, so I've just been getting a bunch of cards. And I pretty much built a critical damage build with Rimuru. Now, I don't really know that much about the characters yet. I still got a lot of testing to do because uh, I need to figure out how like how each character works like if there's characters that have more crit than others so a lot of people told me that i should try making a build with rimuru and here it is guys i made a critical build with rimuru now pretty much all three of my cards have critical damage and critical chance so uh this card right here has 15 critical damage and seven critical chance but then i have one of these cards that are insane i want to show you guys yeah, this one 9.5 percent critical chance and then 17.7 uh, critical damage percentage extra like that is actually really really good i don't know if there's any like uh higher amount out there like anyone that has a card that has like a higher uh, critical chance and a higher critical damage but let me know in the comment section below and then, of course i have another one right here with 9.5 but the critical damage is not as big so yeah this is pretty much what the build is this is my weakest card with critical damage i wish i had one that's 9.5 percent and like 17 percent sadly i haven't had much luck but i mean it is what it is now also pretty much the best thing you could do to make like the best build on this game is if you were to get critical damage critical chance and then attack and then if your other sub was like hp regen or hp i rather have hp regen than hp but if you had uh, hp regen then you basically got like one of the best cards because imagine you're getting attack critical chance damage and an hp regen hp doesn't matter that much if you're regening all the time and that's what I've been trying to work on. Like this one, this card that I have right here, like has gold. It's not that good, but the stats on critical chance and damage are great. And then the same thing on this one, it has gold. So yeah, I just been on the grind for those type of cards. Anyway, um, let me show you guys the build. This build, I I know there's probably other builds out there that could pretty much solo hardcore level 21, but I want to show you guys how fast I could solo it. So uh let's go ahead and Let's try it out. All right, here we go. So pretty much, um, I like to go ahead and use black lightning on the first enemies quickly just to kill these. Okay, I completely missed my attack there. That was an L. All right, here we go. Next set of enemies right over here. Got them. As you can see, the critical is pretty insane. Like, like you see the critical damage popping up all the time. Like, look at that. And critical is usually always like... I think it's like double your damage so if you hit for like 164 then it's double that if you crit so yeah i don't know i feel like critical builds are a lot better than damage builds but comment down below how you guys feel about that so far like it's pretty fast uh i've just been using this build mainly to like grind the game because this build is actually pretty op and i also been using gojo as well because uh gojo is actually really really good guys when i started using a crit build on gojo i think gojo might be on par with rimuru but rimuru is still best because of his ultimate all right so this is the boss i'm about to dps this boss down real quick there we go use all the abilities all right use the ultimate to avoid the thing did i did i avoid his like damage thing the red particle the red path or whatever it's called that i probably didn't and of course my health went to that number i don't know why all right so the boss is pretty much dead i mean so if you had like the setup like how i have it but had hp region and attack you'd be even like stronger than me because that's like the best setup like i said and hp regen is insane that's all i gotta say if you have hp regen on all four of your cards you're pretty much unkillable like you could just keep running in into all the enemies and then just pretty much don't even have to stand still to like heal all right let's fight a cause okay all right he hit me a few times there but i mean it is what it is all right let's go oh use my ultimate just avoid getting hit from that while i also regen okay. or oh, you see a bunch of criticals popping up there you go look at that he okay, sometimes like not that much criticals pop up but then like this is like the best kind of critical stuff you could get out there right now i haven't tried getting like the virtual uh itadori or itadori i haven't tried getting that i've been like i've been trying but i haven't put that much effort into it like i did it like four times and then i quit because it just took too long and i'd rather grind the akaza cards and it's dead i pretty much beat akaza okay there we go 
So 141k damage um, S and it took 3 minutes and 19 seconds to beat. I mean, I guess that's all right, but this is my build, guys. I wonder what you guys think about my build. Right, so now that I finished showing you guys that, I'm thinking about going to like the time challenge and trying to get like as much kills as I can. All right, so yeah, hopefully I can get this. Like, I never get this. I'm so unlucky with this. But yeah, this is my record with this build, 478. Hopefully, I could beat my record. So let's go in there. All right, here we go. Guess I could just start out with my ultimate, honestly, because I don't really have to save it for anything. I could just go ahead and use it. There isn't any, like, fodder units, or I don't have to wait for, like, bosses to use it on, like, bosses. So it's not that big a deal. One thing I found about this time challenge, guys, that you could literally cheese it with the bridge. Like, if you walk over here... And then jump over the bridge they can't attack you well you have to make them all go under the bridge though hold on let me try real quick okay there they are all right now they're under the bridge okay now you pretty much cheesed it but damn i wasted a lot of time right there not gonna lie guys i've been trying out different characters and for the time challenge i feel like zenitsu might be the best for the time challenge so i might be making a video on zenitsu i might make like a time challenge zenitsu build rimbu is actually pretty op like if you could you could do like pretty nice stuff like you could line up all the enemies and then use like black lightning and gluttony and it pretty much like destroys everything that's what i usually always do just line up my enemies first and after that just use my skills and they all die in one go okay i'm pretty much halfway to reaching the 200 mark not that far off I'm about to reach it and i still got five minutes left now so i mean i guess i'm doing good so far well i just i just realized with this build that one full ability kills all these so well not all the time only if like i actually crit more that time i actually didn't crit as much kind of got unlucky there but sometimes it just kills all of them i'm kind of losing health though i gotta kind of watch out make sure i don't die i gotta chill man oh no i'm super low i'm on 400 hp that's why i wish i had hp region instead of hp on my cards all right about to reach the 300 mark guys so basically in under two minutes i got like what 200 kills all right so i got pretty much 304 kills now still got two minutes and 46 seconds well now it's 44 anyway yeah you get the drift i get that much seconds left and now i'm just like trying to get more kills while trying to not die because now i'm just losing health that's why i like uh zenitsu better because one of his attacks actually like kind of dashes you forward so you could actually run away and heal while actually dealing your damage that's the reason why i like zenitsu a lot so yeah definitely expect a, a build on him later on all right so i'm at 387 i'm kind of getting closer to my record now i still am missing like 100 well not perfectly 100 kind of near it more like 78 now okay 420 trying to beat my record right now hopefully i can i got 51 second 50 seconds now okay i don't know if i can get 70 kills in 40 seconds i don't know if that's possible hopefully i can okay i just gotta get these cooldowns to start popping up more come on if only there was like uh different cards where like you could focus on like getting like ability cards like your ability lasts longer or like uh you could reduce the cooldown on your abilities i wish there was cards like that like more in-depth cards okay 23 seconds left guys okay 20 seconds i got 20 seconds to get more kills i remember it was 400 and something 478 oh i'm about to die though oh my god okay 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 <laughs> no bro okay come on come on I need to get more than okay more than oh i got it i beat my record i beat my record okay let's go let's go let's go i did it let's go okay i got like 10 more not even that much and i didn't get virtual itabori or itadori i got 707 000 damage well yeah guys i mean this is my build like i just started playing yesterday uh i know some of you guys been playing since the start i think there's someone out there that actually reached like a million damage that's my goal is to try to create a build where I could get to a million damage. So I'm going to be testing more stuff out. Anyway, if you guys want to see more build videos on this game, go ahead and subscribe, comment down below if you want to see more and also like the video. Thanks so much for watching and peace out guys.